Welcome to my gym. This idiot brought his uh, knapsack. There's literally zero reason for him bringing his knapsack other than he wants to look like a fashion mogul. Don't worry, he's gonna be on Vogue soon. He's starting his modeling career off strong. Solid navy blue backpack. He can't hear you. He's got his Power Beats Pro in. Do you know how much they cost? <laughs> Don't worry about it. So this is like the first time I've used, I've started with a machine chest press, but this one's hammer strength, so it should be good. Also the first time that I've started went in a t-shirt and not a hoodie. So don't judge me if my bicep looks small. I trained with Will this morning, so if I get a shit pump, blame Will. No heavy presses for me today, unfortunately, because my shoulder is still because I'm stupid. It's so good. Get some focus is so on it. What? It's good. Someone set the plates right underneath it so it keeps it in a range that's not going too low for my shoulder. I'll probably work like 15 to 20 with everything. Really focus on driving up. I'm starting to do a bit more explosive movements as well. Ugh. It's kind of come together at the top to it. So cutting out my carbonated, no sugar drink addiction because I was having like 10 a day and it was literally f***ing my sleep forever. So I went cold turkey on it and it was the worst thing in the world for like six or seven hours and then I actually got eight plus hours of sleep in the yeah, night. but so. it doesn't count if you take out that and then you have 10 coffees with I didn't have 10 coffees, I had two black coffees. <laughs> you were the one, I think you're mistaken. So I was like, it's fine, I'm only five monsters a day. I don't have any ZDO, so... It'd be like 11 o'clock at night and this guy's having like a monster. What? I have no caffeine addiction. Let's just like not show them our recycling bin. <laughs> this is probably one of the best chest press I've used in a while. Holy shit. It's good. This machine's good because it's just enough between an incline and a flat the way it's set up right now. So it's like not only upper chest, you're still hitting some of your lower chest, but it takes the pressure off your bicep from being so tucked and kind of keep them a little bit higher. So that's kind of what I'm going to do when I do dumbbell as well. Even when I'm doing flat, I'm not going to go so tight and tucked because that's actually how I injured myself in the first place. Would you tear your bicep? Tear your bicep. I shouldn't promote that. Only maybe sometimes tear your bicep. One thing that I've been playing around with is like keeping my core just braced and just driving through. Mm. I feel it more in my upper chest that I, if I don't brace enough and don't keep my core tight and my lower back not arched, then I find that my lower pec just takes over for it. Which is fine because I need a little bit extra boob action, but you know, you don't want to have too much boobs because then it looks like you have man tits if you develop this too much. So everybody wants upper chest and everybody needs a little upper chest. So just stop doing flat press or stop in arching yourself like this on incline to make it flat. <laughs> I'm gonna do this, probably incline dumbbell and flat dumbbell and then maybe some sort of fly. So only like four or five exercises and then uh, that should be good. Right now this stuff and the incline dumbbell and everything, I'm just gonna focus on really putting my pressure to the end of the bar, whether it be the end here or the end of the dumbbell and just drive through my thumbs because that's what's gonna get more chest activation rather than putting pressure on my shoulder and everything like that. Same tank, you know the rules. <laughs> Same bad haircut, quarantine haircut, you know the rules. Same kid that looks like he's about to shit himself every time he's flexing, you know the rules. Plates without the handles. <laughs> so much more effort taking them off. I'm really stuff. trying to pause and like squeeze it, especially because my shoulder and stuff, but it feels good because I'm kind of like driving through this portion, my palm and my thumb, and keeping my wrist straight so it feels like nice contraction in the pecs. Once I get back from this injury, it's a full strength and stuff. Like this is 70s and I want to get up to heavier again, but I really do want to ease into it and then probably work up to some heavy weight with really good form and then build my chest a lot more because it's such a weak point for me. Hanging out with all those power lifters. Listen, if we go to Texas, I mean, we meet up with Russell. I'm lifting heavy, okay, bring your kids <laughs> up. I might just have to tear my bicep again. I might again. just have to tear my bicep. 70s here for like 15 reps each set, four sets. 
drive through, squeeze the packs. Sits out for the boys. <laughs> so much more actually working the proper muscle. I don't know why people do it. Yeah. My friends, let me give you a good tip. If you are thick, AF, this is the bench you need. Wide, sturdy, that's what we like to see. Super thick pad. To get back, I have to go like this. I think it's fine. <laughs> it's thick, like Tyler. Thick. <laughs> I do leg extensions on it. The tall people, they just sit on it. Well, yeah, because it's so wide, right? Maybe I'll have to pull my feet up for incline press. I don't so know. You're used to riding the booster seat. So yeah, I, like, sure. <laughs> I mean, what else are you supposed to do? It's supposed to be like this, right? <laughs> Might have to chest press like this. I would use this one, the hammer strength one, but it's too heavy to lift over to the good lighting. So what's the point, right? <laughs> Start with 65s on incline. I only saw the lengths that you're going to just to get the good lighting. You want to try it over there? No, 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 it's fine. focus on driving through my thumbs like on my last set just putting my hands to the end of the dumbbell and just squeezing all the way through try to hit like 15 reps again just focus on pause and then drive up hard as I can breathe out driving from the bottom and exploding with breathing all my air out shooting my pants Get the shot of me lifting them off because that looks good and makes my arm look big. It's all about the angles, eh? Yeah. Chest feels pretty good. It's just easier training twice a day too when you're not constantly flushing electrolytes. So if I can get my hydration on point and my sleep was so much better, so just feel so good. I'll let you set up so you get the angle and I stop. You know what I'm saying? The people know. I actually feel it in my chest for once. It's not all going on my torn bicep. Okay. Will said he wants to do a cheat meal. I haven't done a cheat meal in like three years, so why would I want to go and do a cheat meal with a bunch of carbs and I don't know, he loves donuts and stuff, so. But then today, he suggested a Brazilian steakhouse. Now that, that's my kind of dinner. Literally, that's all I eat, just steak. <laughs> I'm pretty certain I'm gonna turn into a cow. I'm talking about like a beefy, nice, Swole cow, you know? Those ones that have that condition that makes them super muscular. That's the cow I want to be. Yeah, your yeah. cow, and those are your two cows. Get the cows. Alright, now back up to the cow, come on. <laughs> My chest is so dead, dude. I did triceps earlier too with Will. Filmed the arms video the other day as well. If you don't watch it, go check it out. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. I like how your whole workout is just dictated whether it looks good. I asked Braden before we start filming again. Do you think this one will look good? 
if you don't look good during the exercise, What's the point of it, doing it automatically cancels the gains. It doesn't matter how much weight you're lifting. No, or how much tension's on the muscle, or how hard you're actually contracting it. If it doesn't look good, it's not, this is science. Put this in your notes, because if it doesn't look good while you're performing the exercise, it has no correlation to good results. Zero. I need like five more pounds of teats before I go on stage. <laughs> if I do a show, it'll be next May. I gotta set a date if I'm gonna do it. But I think it'd be pretty cool. Not that this is the only reason I'm doing it, but I think it'd be a pretty cool series to shoot at the same time for you guys. So ever since I kind of stopped playing soccer, I, I've missed that, that competitiveness, that competitive aspect. So getting back into something that is really competitive, competing against another person, is something where I can really rely on myself and just go hard. It just seems exciting to me because that, that competitive spark is just inside of me naturally. Drop a comment down below if you guys want to see a competition series where I try to get leaner than I am now. Do like a few minutes of posing after each of my workouts. Something that I need to work on a bit. End of the workout? Yeah, I'm done. I only, what did I do, four or five exercises total. I trained earlier and still as my chest is easy into it, I'm not going insane on the volume. But I still did like at least 15 reps for most exercises, just squeezing it. I'm going higher volume with each exercise, like four or five sets each exercise. So I don't have to do quite as many like overall exercises. I'll only do four or five total. So it feels good though. My chest is feeling a lot better. My contractions are feeling really good. 